morning everybody we're in south dakota remember how foggy it was last night when we got here could hardly see the building from here couldn't even see the road up there i pulled in on the driveway way over there i couldn't even see the truck stop i had to just creep through the lot to find a parking spot that was the worst fog i've ever seen there's my load all nicely tarped i have dried off since then i had to tarp it in the rain that was fun i had to use all three tarps so the center tarp i bought these tarps a few months ago and the center tarp is the first time i'm using it <laughs> these end tarps come to like right there and right there so really this whole center tarp is on there just to cover this one little gap right there about one or two feet but it's covered making use of these things oh it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a good day we're at the ta and uh, i'm excited to get going we're on our way to arizona this load delivers into uh, a town just west of phoenix arizona called uh, tonopah and it's about 1800 miles from here so about 3,000 kilometers, three days of driving. So we're gonna drive a full day today. We're gonna drive a full day tomorrow and a full day the next day. So I'm filming this, this is a Saturday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. If we're lucky, we'll see what happens. We do gain an hour going west, I believe. I believe Arizona's in mountain time, right? Let's figure that out right now. What time zone is Arizona in? Time zone in Phoenix, Arizona is Mountain Standard Time. Mountain Standard Time. Yep, so we'll gain an hour going there because I'm in Central Time right now. We'll see if we can get unloaded Monday afternoon, but I'm expecting to be unloaded Tuesday morning. No reload yet, but we have three days to figure that out. We'll figure it out as we get closer. We're going to be going through uh, South Dakota, through a little bit of the back country down towards Colorado. We're gonna go south through the eastern part of Colorado into New Mexico, and then cut across through Albuquerque into Arizona. It's a few miles further, not that much further at all. I think it's about like 20 miles further. But uh, we're gonna avoid the I-70 going through the Colorado mountains because there's a winter storm advisory in effect for those mountains. Okay, I've got myself turned around here. I'm facing the building now. We are ready to rock and roll. We're gonna continue heading south down I-29. This is exit 207, I-29, South Dakota. Let's keep going down. We're gonna go to Sioux Falls and then uh, from there, I believe we cut cross country a little bit to get down to I-80. worry about that when we get there actually we should worry about it now right otherwise we're gonna miss our turn but I know where I'm going you'll see you'll see I'll see we'll see we'll all see who knows we're going south as long as we're pointed as long as we're pointed that way right we're going the right direction And the day begins. Grabbed a coffee out of here. They got a Pizza Hut in there. Uh, Caribou Coffee, Cinnabon, uh, Subway, a whole bunch. It's a really nice truck stop. It's a classic American truck stop, you know? I don't know if it used to always be a TA though, but maybe. That's I-29 North, that would take us home. We're not going that way today. Here's the interstate.
right, old blue, you ready? You ready? Got your pipes all warmed up. Sing for me, come on. Such a light load. My whole load is only 7,000 pounds, so it feels like I'm empty.
U.S. Army dam. I don't know what that means. The sign on that building off to our right said Army Corps Engineers. Interesting. Nebraska. Just pulled in, parked the truck, getting a few steps in tonight. Feels like tonight already. It's actually afternoon, but it might start raining. 
that almost convinced me not to go walking today, but I figured, you know what? I already got soaked yesterday. Why not get soaked again today? <laughs> Went for my walk anyway. Look at that house. Whoa. So we just walked right through the center of Burwell. I'm facing west right now. Walking right down there, main drag. A lot of golf carts and a lot of side-by-side uh, -side ATVs in this town driving around. Something I noticed. Look at that lawn. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Everything's so green here. It's huge. Look at that car. That's beautiful. We're almost to the edge of town on the other side. I'm just gonna walk to this end of town and walk back. It should be about three miles, I think. Nice little town. Can't get over how green these lawns are already. Look at that. Oh. Most houses have an American flag. That's good. Go on over there. Beautiful small town America, right? I've said it many times before. It's my favorite places. I'm not a big city guy. I don't need to, they're fun to go visit every now and then. But this, I, man, I could see myself living in a town like this in the US. Spooky house. Starting to get dark, I'm gonna head back to the truck. By the time I get back, I should have met my three mile goal. I'm trying to walk uh, three miles every day. Oh, look at all these big birds up here. What? These things are huge. What are they? Like really big ravens. I'm all wet again. Just dried this shirt out from yesterday. Now it's all soaked again. <laughs> well, that's okay. I'm used to it now. Why not? So we went for 3.16 miles. Oh, it took us 55 minutes. Not too bad. Perfect. So I'm gonna get changed again into dry clothes and we'll get back on the road just started to lightning. We got a ways to go today yet.
there's parking. According to Trucker Path, there's always a lot of parking here. Hopefully it's not full just tonight. You have arrived at your destination. On the right side, Riata Truck Stop. We'll call it a Riata Truck Stop, but I think it's a Sinclair. left on the clock when I stopped. And Trucker Path was right. This must be a lesser known truck stop. The reviews were really good on it in the app. Everyone said it's a really nice place. It's just got a dirt lot. Right now I would say it's got a mud lot so I'm not going to get out of the truck. I don't have to here. There's lots of parking here though. Tons of parking. It's a huge lot. There's almost nobody here. It's just a little bit dark here but you know, the reviews were good, so we'll see how it goes tonight. I'm going to sleep right here. Tomorrow we'll continue on. I have two full days left to get to Tonopah, Arizona. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. West of Phoenix. So in the morning, we'll continue on here. We'll get through eastern Colorado, south towards New Mexico. We'll go around through New Mexico, and we'll see if we'll get into Arizona or not. We'll get at least get uh, probably close to Albuquerque somewhere in there we'll uh again we'll see what happens i'm really tired it's been a long day gotta go to bed i'll see you right here in the morning don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss a day it's been a fun trip we started off in uh, around winnipeg manitoba canada and we've slowly made our way down here towards arizona i'll see you tomorrow everybody keep your stick on the ice stay safe out there